episode. Yo, I haven't seen an episode that good in quite a while, man. It's been a minute since I've seen an episode of any type of anime that's that good. Like, I can't even remember the last time I seen an episode of anime that was that good, man. It might have been, might have been last year, One Punch Man, uh, episode 12 with uh, Boros, when that ended and stuff. Like, that episode was freaking good. Like, dang, this episode was just good, man. This episode starts off with freaking Kaio and Nagasaki cleaning up these bees and stuff. And I, I, I don't know where they got the bees from or whatever. Like, um, I can't remember... Because they said in the episode that they got the beads from, like, when they was doing, when they was doing, like, some kind of uh, assassination uh, practice or something like that by the river. And it was a whole bunch of beads and stuff that they got from some company. And then they had, uh, like, um, cleaned the beads up in the river. But then, like, Nagasaki had spilled it on the floor or something like that. It was weird. I ain't really, like, understand that. But then, Nagasaki and freaking Kyle end up cleaning it up. Then Kuro Sensei just come in there and start helping them and stuff. And I'm like, okay, this is just a regular, this is going to be a regular episode of freaking uh, Assassination Classroom and stuff. Because they ain't really doing much. If, it, if it's not an episode that's, like, really progressing in the first, like, four minutes, you're not going to get anything. But I should have... Held my tongue because round minute 4.30. Like it was four minutes in, four minutes and 30 seconds in. Freaking Kuro Sensei falls down some type of hole in the classroom. And I'm like, hold on, what's going on? And Kyo, she freaking did like this to the back of her head. And some tentacles came out. That just was like this. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, ho, 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 ho. That just stopped everything for me. Because in all of the episodes, all of this, like, new second season, Kyle's face has been in the opening with Kuro Sensei's face, Kuro, Senso, Kuro Sensei's face, and Nagasaki's face. And I've just been wondering, like, why did they put her face in there? She hasn't done anything. Like, is that one of the characters that's, like, the creator really likes? So... Um, they put her face in the opening because they wanted her face in there. Like, I ain't really understand that. But now I know why. Because them tentacles came out like that and started whipping that Kuro Sensei. He was falling down this, like, giant tail pit hole that she had built or something. It was like, it was like Journey to the Center of the Earth. You remember that movie? Like, when they uh, went down that, uh, that hole and they just kept falling and stuff. Just kept falling. It was like that. And she was fighting Kuro Sensei in there the whole time, too. I was like, whoa, what? I need to take a breath. If they don't explain what's going on in this episode, like, this episode's going to be suckish. But eventually, they got around to that. When Kuro Sensei, he got out of the hole by doing a Kamehameha. He did a Kamehameha to the side of, like, where it was falling and made, like, another hole so he could get out of it and jump. Because she was beating his tail, man, because he couldn't fly around her. Because he was falling. And even though Kuro Sensei can't fly, she was constantly hitting him with the tentacles. So he couldn't do anything. So freaking, when he got out of the hole, everybody was like, hold up, what's going on? And then one dude, I forgot his name, man. Because there's so many people that don't get no airtime. And if you forget their name, that's just going to be it, man. You're not even going to remember that at all. But he got orange hair and stuff. He was like, he was like, hold on. I knew I knew her from somewhere. Because Kyle let her hair down. And her hair was like, to the middle of her back and jump with the tentacles out and stuff. And then he was like, I knew I know her from somewhere, man. She looked real familiar, but I just, I couldn't figure out where I saw her from. So then he showed everybody a picture of this girl, of this acting girl that he saw like way before the sem uh, first semester even started for school and jump. And, and I was like, hold up. Whoa. So she's this acting person. Like then who is the real Kyle? Is the real Kyle the Kyle that we known for this long tail time? Or is, is the Kyle that we've known a completely made up person? And the Kyle that we've known is a completely made up person because she's let a real personality show. Because in the beginning, 
before she transitioned into this new uh, character named uh, Kai. Kaneto, Kaneto Kayo. That's her uh, fake made up name and stuff. But her real name is like Akari, like something. I forgot her last name. And the reason why she did that was because like one day, one night she was walking home or something like that, or walking like to her sister's job or something. I think she was walking like to her sister's job or whatever. And she had something like the place that blew up. The place blew up. Then she ran in there because she was like, oh, snap, my sister is in there. So she ran in there, ran under some rubble and stuff, found her sister dead, laying beside a note and stuff, and it saw, like, this uh, monster tentacle creature who we now to know of be Kuro-sensei, and he was just looking at her with, like, blood on his uh, tentacles and stuff, and she saw Kuro-sensei, and she put two and two together to say, hey, this is the dude that killed my sister and jumped. So then that's when she freaking... That's when she freaking vowed revenge on Cruel Sensei. And she found like these little capsules and stuff with gel in them that was for uh that was for making tentacles like Etona got. Like the ones he used to have, that was for making that and stuff. And then she looked somehow she looked it up on his computer and jumped it like, to where like the tentacles was to uh make superhuman like soldiers or something like that, but then something went wrong to where the place exploded and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me, and then that's when she injected herself with the tentacle juice to give herself freaking tentacles. But the whole entire time she was going through like this excruciating pain that um even made her acting skills even that much greater because everybody was trying to figure out because Etona had told them that like she must be going through some real tough pain because in order for her to get that type of tentacles and stuff that she got to go through some serious pain in order for her tentacles to actually develop and to become a really um, awesome weapon and stuff. Like, Etona didn't go through that kind of pain. That's like, um, his tentacles wasn't at, wasn't as good as hers was in this freaking episode. Because in this episode, like, when she told Kuro say meet me at the park at 7 o'clock and jump. And then, um, before that had happened, like, everybody was gathered around in the classroom trying to figure out what's going on and jump. And then, uh, like, before Kayo had left, she had told the whole class and everybody that Kuro Sensei killed her sister. And everybody was looking at Kuro Sensei, like, hold on, did you kill her sister or whatever? Like, what's going on with that? And then, at the freaking park, he was trying to tell, Kuro Sensei was trying to tell her, like, come back to class. We need to help you. You will die and stuff. The tentacles literally change your mind. It's kind of like Dr. Octopus, like, um, in the Spider-Man 2 movie, the original Spider-Man 2, not the Amazing Spider-Man 2, that mess that sucked. Uh-uh. The original Spider-Man 2 movie with Tobey Maguire and stuff, with uh, Dr. Octopus, how when he created the octopus tentacles and stuff, the octopus arms, and he had like that little, um, like some kind of receiver on the back of his neck so that the octopus's like AI doesn't overtake his mind and they start controlling him. Yeah, that's that's a whole bunch of stuff with like Japanese anime gets um bits and pieces of inspiration, I would say, from like Western uh like comics and stuff like that. Like for instance, in Dragon Ball Z, uh you know about Bippy Bop Bippy Bippity Boppity and Boo, right? You already know what that's from. That's from Disney Channel. When um I think like uh, doing Cinderella or something, the fairy godmother was singing bippity boppity boo and stuff like that. And then freaking uh, Toriyama just took uh, the the words bippity boppity and boo and made them into real uh, characters in his series and stuff. So um, I see the similarities with that. But oh no, this episode was freaking good, man. Especially when like her passion and hatred for Kuro Sensei build up so much that her tentacles caught on fire. And I was like, whoa, okay. I didn't know that could do that. Like, so if her tentacles could catch on fire, what kind of powers did Etona's tentacles have? Like, I don't know. Cause when her tentacles caught on fire, she made like a ring of fire around her and Kuro Sensei. So Kuro Sensei couldn't, couldn't escape or nothing. And all the kids from the, um, from the classroom couldn't, uh, try to join in and stop the fight or whatever. Like, oh my God. This episode was so good, man. Oh, yeah, one thing I missed 
was like that dude, that weird and creepy guy with all the white on and stuff. He um he was the guy that was helping Etona out when Etona was trying him and Etona was trying to uh, kill Cora Sensei and stuff, but eventually failed. He was hanging around in this episode too, and then he had said before um like during like the middle of this episode when they did like some kind of um it was like a flash forward or something like they just showed him and he was talking to some guy and he was like i thought something was wrong when i went into that uh room when i went into the classroom and then i saw her sitting there and i was like i don't remember researching her face and then finding out stuff about her so he just overlooked it because he just thought she was a transfer character transfer student which she was but she really was like he really didn't do enough backstory on um no i said backstory but enough research on her in order to fi fully find out what she was so like when she was trying to prepare herself for the later on that night to when she was fighting kuro sensei he showed up to her and they was like standing on side of some mountain and stuff and he was telling her like hey why don't me and you hook up and then I can get, help you out with killing Kuro Sensei and stuff. And she attacked him. And then he had jumped back and stuff. Dodged the attack. And she was like, don't get in my way. Or I kill you too. And I was like, oh, snap. This girl going off, man. And then he was, then she, after she said that, she jumped down the mountain. And what something that surprised me, he had fell back and like caught his, holding his chest like he was scared or something. And then he was like, come on, why would you do that to your big brother? And then the scene had ended and you ain't see him no more. And I was like, whole, whole, whole up. Big brother? What did he mean by that? Like, does he actually mean that he's her brother? Because that would make perfect sense. Because why in the world was her sister even in that freaking uh, facility in the first place? Like, it wasn't no school or nothing, what I said uh, earlier. It was some type of like um, facility, uh, some top secret facility or something where they cre were creating these superhumans uh, soldiers with these tentacles. So it can make perfect sense that he really is her big brother and she don't know it. And her sister was hiding, the, hiding her from him or like he said he was her big brother just because like um, she has tentacles now. And he probably has tentacles too, but nobody has seen it yet because he's always wearing that white and stuff. And he used practical things to try to defeat Kuro Sensei, but it never works or anything, man. But yo, this episode was freaking good. I can't wait till next episode. They not going to kill Kuro Sensei yet. The season that um, the manga's still going on, it hasn't stopped. Um, I think somebody told me that the manga is getting close to ending. Excuse me. The manga is getting close to ending and stuff. So I think it's going to end. I think all of this is going to end around season. Maybe season four. If they get far along in that. Because we're in season two right now. And we got tw about 10 more episodes to go. And then we'll be uh, second season of 24 episodes. Because the first season was 24 episodes. Then the second season will be 24 episodes. Then we go to the third season. Which will be 24 episodes. Then the last season. Maybe if they ended in third season or not, I don't know if they're going to do that. But in a, uh, four, they might get to a fourth season. I don't know or whatever, man. But let me know your thoughts on this freaking wonderful episode, man. This episode was so freaking good and stuff, man. If you like anything I had to say, man, like, share, comment, rate, subscribe, and all that, man. For, be sure to comment because I really like commenting and, and uh, hearing other people's thoughts on what I have to say. And what happened in the episode. And if there's something in the episode that I missed. Comment it down below. Because I be doing that a lot. To where like it's stuff in the episode that I really remember. And there's certain bits and pieces that I don't remember and stuff. So comment that down below and all that. And make sure to let me know everything that happened in the episode. That I get in the, did, did not get onto and stuff man. And tell me what you had for dinner last night too man. But that's all I got for this freaking video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Darren Awesome. You're awesome. Stay awesome. I love you. Peace. One love. I'm out.